the same thing, you know, close game in the last couple minutes and the other team pulls it out. How frustrating is it to just be there and then see the other team come kind of do what needs to be done at the end? I mean, it's very frustrating. And I mean, we'll watch family, you know, get over this hump. What did y'all – sorry. What did y'all do different in the second half that kind of changed things because the momentum was a little bit better? It looked like the defense started clamping down a little bit better. What What was the change at halftime? Um, just on uh, Lord, man. Just getting out of this zone. And that zone has, you know, um, you know, has a lot of breaking points in the zone. So uh, going in the man, you know, um, everybody was not, you know, just on one spot. Everybody was to a man. So I think that helped a lot. So there's something y'all can do moving forward in close games to maybe get over that one? Oh, yeah, just stay in man. I mean, you just, I mean, just guard your guy. First half, uh, Tennessee had a 13 nothing run to kind of go up 21-9 or something like that. Uh, early in the first half, what, what was going wrong, I guess, for, for you guys for Tennessee to make that, that run jump up early? Uh, to be honest, I think the um, zone – Really, um, did not help tonight. Um, I thought Tennessee didn't shoot the ball as well the last few games, and they really came out and hit a lot of threes on us. So I, I think that's had a big part on it. Um, and I think <coughs> if we would have went man, I think we would have come and down as well. But we stayed in the zone and it got hot on the outside. So, Q, there were a couple times where y'all would cut it to a one point lead or a two point lead down. And then it seemed going back on transition and defense, it just wasn't there. What what mentally has to happen maybe after y'all cut that lead to one, y'all have to get back on defense? What mentally has to happen? I think we all got to get mentally tough. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing we got to do. Um, when we down two and we coming down the floor, um, I think our biggest thing, we can't foul. I think we sent them to the free throw lines like three or four times when we cut the lead to two. So I think it's the big the biggest thing it is we just got to play defense and tough enough. So. I think y'all kind of maybe get caught up in things because it, obviously your your emotions are really high when you're able to cut a lead down. Y'all, you think y'all just get caught up in it and kind of affects you on the defensive end? Yeah, I think um, when we cut the lead down, sometimes we get caught up in the crowd and we just got to get back on defense and try to um, get another stop. Q, what happened offensively? I know you hit those two threes at the end, but it seemed like they would cut it to one and then three of eight the rest of the way shooting, uh, at least for that little period. What was happening offensively that didn't allow you to execute down the stretch? Uh, I think I was forcing things that were, wasn't there, so I think that had a big um, key to, to it. Um, I think I had a couple drives that I tried to force a layup that wasn't there. I should have passed the ball and things like that. But um, basically, I was just forcing things that wasn't there. What about as a team in general? Was it anything specific that came to mind just as a, as a team? Uh, not really. I think we really shared the ball tonight, so... Down the stretch in the other game, we really didn't share the ball. We've we, um, been playing selfish, so I think tonight we really shared the ball down the stretch. Career high 23 for you tonight. Well, what was different for you today? Uh, I just played within myself, and I played the four today. That was my first time ever playing the four, so I just let the game came to me. And Travis was supposed to get the star, then they penciled you in. When did you find out that you were going to get the star? Uh, I found out. You know, two practices ago? Yeah. Like, two practices ago, because I had to come in and learn all the plays from the four that I never learned in the beginning of the season. I came in within a day and learned all the plays from the four, and I got to start tonight. To give you confidence, I obviously going forward, moving forward, knowing that you scored 23 points playing a new position. Uh, yeah, basically, because I'm small, and when we and playing the four, I think players used to be like six, seven, six, eight, and they kind of slow. So, and I'm, I'm a small guard playing the four, and I know I can attack them. Basically. So, how, do, how does your mindset change? You know, be how do you take advantage of your size rather than make it, you know, be a problem? Uh, I take advantage by getting to the basket, like nonstop. I'm trying to get to the basket. I'm not settling for a lot of jumpers like I was when I was playing the two. So, because I know I have a bigger defender on me, and I know I can go by him, so I just attack. Anything else, guys? When did you guys switch to the man, <coughs> man defense? And was it in the second half, or, or yeah, did you switch the? We we switched the first half too, but okay. I think the man really got aggressive the second half because we wanted to play man then at the time, and we told Coach Holland that we wanted to play man. Was that just because of their ability to knock down three point shots? Yeah, we I guess we 
we got fed with them making a lot of shots. And he ain't even making tough shots, so I can't take that away from him. But we just got fed up and we told Kobe we got to go man. And you close the game in man too? Yeah. Anything else, guys?